Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Democrats freak as Trump claims major victory for the first time in recorded history. President Donald Trump just claimed a major victory, accomplishing something which has never been done before in recorded history. The Democrats, of course, are freaking out as it is becoming more and more clear that Trump will be re-elected in 2020. President Donald Trump started the month off right on Friday with an early morning tweet touting the upcoming payroll numbers before their release. Looking forward to seeing the employment numbers at 8.30 this morning, wrote Trump, unafraid of jinxing himself. When the numbers were released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they did not disappoint. In fact, according to the May 2018 jobs report, the economy added 223,000 jobs last month, reducing the unemployment rate to 3.8 percent. Broken down by race, the unemployment rate is 3.5 percent for whites, 5.9 percent for blacks 2.1 percent for Asians, and 4.9 percent for Hispanics, which are among the lowest rates on record for each group. Unemployment has fallen to record lows since Trump took office, with last month's job report showing an unemployment rate of just 3.9 percent below what economists consider full employment. Now, however, we have an even bigger breakthrough to report. For the first time in recorded history, there is at least one job opening for every person seeking a job. Economists have been confirming that we are headed in the right direction for months. According to the latest data from the Job Openings and Labor Turnover Survey, there were 6.55 million job openings in March. In March, there were 6.59 million unemployed meaning there are 1.01 unemployed workers for every job, reported Market Watch. In July 2009, just as the U.S. exited the Great Recession, there were 6.65 unemployed people for every available job. President Donald Trump has proven that he is absolutely committed to putting Americans back to work and getting them off of welfare programs. And, with unemployment numbers the lowest they've been in 17 years, most notably among black Americans, food stamp participation is plummeting. The number of food stamp dependent Americans hit a six year low in President Donald Trump's first year in office, reflecting an improving economy and falling unemployment, according to a U.S. Agriculture Department USDA, report. An average of 42.2 million Americans participated in the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, program in 2017, which is an 11 percent decrease from 2013 when a record number of people used food stamps, according to USDA. Federal spending for SNAP totaled $68.0 billion or 4 percent less than in the previous fiscal of year, USDA reported. This was also 15 percent less than the historical high of $79.9 billion set in FI 2013. Source, The Daily Caller. The Democrats, of course, are not happy about these numbers. They're in the business of trading handouts for votes. With the entire country being put back to work, their sick scheme is unraveling right before their very eyes, courtesy of Donald J. Trump. Conservatives measure success not by how many people receive government assistance, but by how many people who don't. This is one of the key differences between those on the right and their leftist counterparts. Democrats have labeled themselves the party of the people, mainly by giving away free stuff in exchange for votes. Republicans, however, know that none of these handouts are actually free. Someone is paying for them, and that someone happens to be the hard-working American citizen who would rather put in a 10-hour day at the factory than live their life on the dole. Moreover, conservatives realize that helping people become independent of the government is real compassion. By contrast, ensuring that entire demographics are beholden to a certain political party for their welfare checks is quite honestly modern-day slavery. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like, and subscribe. Thank you.